everyone, I'm Sherry Bechtel, editor for Finders Investing Channel, and I'm here to break down everything you need to know about the upcoming ZipRecruiter stock debut before you decide to invest. Let's dive right in. ZipRecruiter is a California-based online job posting marketplace that's set to go public via direct listing around May 26. Once public, the stock will trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol ZIP. It's difficult to tell where ZipRecruiter's stock will debut, but this is pretty typical of direct listings since this largely depends upon the price at which existing investors are willing to part with their shares. The tech company was founded in 2010 and it makes its money from employers who are interested in promoting their job openings on the company's marketplace. However, the service is free for applicants to post their resumes and apply to jobs. As with any investment, there are benefits and risks to consider before buying into ZipRecruiter. As you can imagine, COVID-19 has had a huge effect on the recruitment industry, and this is reflected in ZipRecruiter's 2020 revenue, which came in at $418 million. This was down from $430 million in 2019. Even so, ZipRecruiter posted net income of $86 million for 2020 after seeing a $6 million loss the year before. Published reports say ZipRecruiter's valuation could be between $3 and $5 billion, and a 2018 funding round valued the company at one and a half billion. COVID-19 vaccinations and the loosening of lockdown restrictions has led to a hiring frenzy among employers this spring, and this could have a positive impact on ZipRecruiter's revenue. That being said, nothing is certain in this post-COVID-19 world, and another shutdown could cause the online job marketplace to take a big hit. Now let's talk about the competition. ZipRecruiter's three main competitors are Robert Half, 51 Job Inc., and Corn Ferry International. Robert Half saw its stock jump 44.5% year-to-date. Meanwhile, 51 Job stock edged up 2.36%. 6% year to date, and Corn Ferry stock has climbed 48.43% year to date. One can only hope ZipRecruiter stock sees similar jumps after it debuts in late May. Now that I've given you the rundown of ZipRecruiter to help you decide if it's worth investing, let's switch gears and talk about direct listings in general, what they are and how they differ from the often talked about initial public offerings or IPOs. First, a direct listing allows a company to go public by selling existing ownership shares. Instead of creating new shares through an IPO, company employees and existing investors sell their ownership stakes as stock to the general public. Second, direct listings don't require underwriters, so companies have the opportunity to cut costs. Plus, investors can sell their shares without waiting for a lockup period to expire. The ZipRecruiter direct listing is scheduled for May 26, but that date could change. We'll update this video with any news we hear. To prepare yourself before its debut, you'll need to sign up for a brokerage account. Get help weighing the pros and cons of your different options with our guide, linked in the description box below. Once you find a broker that works for you, set up your account and add funds to start investing. But keep in mind that it could take a few days for your funds to clear. When you're finally ready to buy shares of ZipRecruiter, you have two options. First, you can wait until the trading commences and buy shares at the market price. This is called a market order. Secondly, you can buy shares through a limit order, which allows you to buy shares before the stock starts trading, but only at or below the specific price you designate. ZipRecruiter's direct listing is on the horizon, but before you invest, you should always do your research, vet your investment options, and keep an eye on industry impacting news events. To stay up to date on the latest, head on over to our ZipRecruiter page at finder.com. It's linked in the description box. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when a new Finder video drops. 